first of all, it's going to be great for our country. That's the most important thing because Vinny's going to be an awesome secretary of the army. But uh, no, things aren't going to change all that much. As Matt said, it's going to be more administrative, you know, title change. I'll be chairman and a governor. It means I have to go to more owners meetings, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got uh, Dale Towns going to continue to run hockey and Tommy's coaching right now. We'll see how that shakes out at the end of the season. And the Viola family will continue to uh, own the majority of the team. Uh, there's three sons that have been involved with the team. John Moore on the creative side, Travis Moore in hockey operations, and Michael, who behind the scenes is doing a lot of the business stuff with me anyhow. So we'll kind of continue it the same way. You've been friends with Vinny a long, long time. Yep. How excited are you for him for this new venture? You know, almost kind of speechless. I get kind of emotional about him because if you think about a guy who could do anything with his life, right? I mean, really has the freedom and he's got a great life, great family. And he has always been so passionate about the United States and so passionate about the Army that he had the privilege of serving in his youth. And he said to me 10 years ago, there's one job I want, Doug. I swear it's a true story. I would love to be Secretary of the Army. And when this whole thing just came together kind of spontaneously, I'm thrilled beyond belief for him and for our country. And how crazy has it been for him lately? It, it's been pretty crazy. He's been in Washington a lot. Obviously, you know, he's got 26 senators on the Armed Services Committee he wants to get to meet, and he's trying to do it the right way. And he's trying to get briefed on, you know, it's a $125 billion budget and a million, you know, $1.25 men and women in uniform and out of uniform so it's essentially a huge CEO job but he's you know he's the perfect guy for the job we're very proud of him uh, his friends his family just this past week we did the father's trip all the dads were like super excited players are super excited um, the, the players met with him on Tuesday and you know he, he's going he's meeting with senators now which is really nice and getting ready for his confirmation so yeah we're, we're super excited for him and a little bit is there going to be any change with the with the Panthers yeah, in the transition absolutely no change status quo um, there, there will be uh, like a title change if he's confirmed uh, his governor status he'll, he'll move that to, to Doug Sifu who of course is the the other owner of the team but from an operational standpoint no no, no change for us yeah it's just a just a neat honor, I would think, yeah, to have your team neat. affiliated with something. Yeah, but, yeah it's a, I, I don't know if there's ever been a sports owner who uh, ran the U.S. Army or had such a high-level position in government. So uh, just another crown crown jewel to his, uh, his resume. So, so do you wear a Panthers pin on his lapel to cover I'm going to make that happen, all right? I'm going to talk to him and make that happen. But uh, I think he's got U.S. Army pins to wear right now. So but let me try to work on that. All right. Thank so. you, man. Okay, thanks.